everybody. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today I am going to be sharing top coats and base coats and ranking them from worst to best. I have a lot of different brands that I have tried out over the last couple years and really have an opinion on these products. There's products that are holy grails. There's products that used to be holy grails that have no longer been holy grails recently and I'll explain that here in a little bit but I do have a couple affordable options for top coats I don't have anything base coat wise that's under probably like ten dollars which is an Essie product um, but I know you can find some of this stuff at like discount stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, probably clearance finds things like that so let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to start off, I think, with base coats. That's what I have the least amount of in my current nail polish arsenal. I don't always use a base coat. I do, however, go in with my Dury Rejuva coat for every time I do a manicure. There was always this product on my nails, no matter if I'm wearing polish or not. I always have this on my nails. This is a product I've had for three years I think. It works well as like a nail treatment but it's not something that I think I'll repurchase just because this can peel in a few days for me if I do like two coats. You're supposed to apply this every day and then take it off and reapply. I don't do it that way but this is a product I feel like my nails are a little bit stronger when I wear this under polish so it is something that I really enjoy but I don't think I'll repurchase it just because one, it's expensive. Two, I have a couple refill bottles so I won't need to repurchase again. Three, it doesn't work quite as well as Rejuvacote claims it will. So with the Rejuvacote, it is a staple as of right now. It's been a staple in my manicure routine since I bought it and it'll probably stay until I finish it up and then I'm gonna move on to something else. There is a base coat or treatment at Walmart that I wanna try, but I don't wanna try it until Dury Rejuva Coat is gone. Um, I can't think of the name of it. There's two different kinds. It's like five or six dollars. It's supposed to strengthen your nails, something like that, prevent like peeling, chipping, all that stuff. I'll try to insert a picture, but that's the one I've been eyeing for a little bit, But I'm not in the market for a nail treatment, so to speak, as of right now. So moving on to base coats. I have found that a base coat isn't necessarily a must in my manicure routine. I usually will use a base coat on top of the Rejuva coat and then go in with my polish, top coat, things like that. I like having a little bit extra added protection on my nails, so I do it that way generally, but here lately, I've kind of reached a little bit of a snag when it comes to my manicures not drying down. And I think I figured out what the culprit is. I use a fast dry top coat. I have changed top coats, but it doesn't matter which one I use. I still will have some manicures that just don't dry. And I'm like, okay, what's the problem? I have found that I think the one base coat that I was using is the problem. And that is Essie's first base base coat. I got this at TJ Maxx back in 2020, 2021 because I didn't have a base coat and wanted to try this one. It was like four dollars but every time I use this base coat in conjunction with my manicures they don't dry. I will be dinging them. You can push the polish off your nail the whole nine yards. It doesn't set and I don't know why. So I have since stopped using this here recently and I will sometimes skip a base coat aside from the Rejuva coat and go in with polish, top coat, whatever, and I don't have a problem. That's kind of what I've been doing because that Essie polish, for whatever reason, I think it could be because it's old. I've had it for a while. It is over half gone. I'm trying to use it up, but I'm like, if it's going to make it to where my polishes don't dry... I don't think I want to use this. So for now, I think that's going to be set aside. I might see if my husband wants to use it. He uses my Rejuva coat as well because I have refill bottles. Um, 
but I might see if he wants to try that base coat and see what happens. So for another good base coat, I bought this one from TJ Maxx back in 2020 and then bought a couple refill bottles because I do really enjoy this base coat. This is a sticky rubberized base coat which will allow polish to adhere and allow for longer wearability of your manicures. This is Orly Bonder. This is expensive on its own. It is $12 or something. Sally Beauty quit carrying it and I wasn't able to find it anywhere when I wanted to pick it up initially. So I luckily found a bottle at TJ Maxx for $4, something like that, and thought, now's my chance. And I haven't used this in a bit. My husband uses it every time he does a manicure. I don't because I've got some other ones that I like or I just skip base coat altogether most of the time. But this is a really good sticky base coat. This does make your polish last. I don't find it makes a difference if I use this or skip it. I feel like my polishes, manicures last pretty well anyway, thankfully. But it is a really good rubberized base coat that I feel like if you're looking for something like this, this is a good place to start. This is the only experience I've had with a mainstream brand sticky base, so I'm not sure other ones out there how they work. I know there's a lot you could try, but this one is a great one to add to your manicure setup if you're looking for something like this. I have one sticky base from an indie brand, and this one is a favorite of mine as well. Again, do they make my manicures last better with them versus without? I don't think so. I don't think I've noticed that, but I have them just to use them because I thought, hey, I think this is a good option. You know, this is something I want to try. This is by 1422 Designs, and it's Stuck On You Sticky Base. I got this in Polish Pickup recently. Oh, it's been a couple months ago. You can see I have a fill line here. I was putting this aside because I didn't want to use it all. I thought Polish Pickup offered it and then I couldn't get it anymore. Found out that the 1422 Designs website offers this pretty much all the time for seven or eight dollars, I want to say. So there's another good alternative. It's cheaper. It might be more than like eight dollars. I don't know, I don't think it's like more than like eight or nine, which it makes it cheaper than like Orly Bonder if you buy Orly Bonder at the full price. So this is another good alternative. It works beautifully. I just was holding on to it because I thought I couldn't get it. So I haven't used it in a hot minute, but I need to definitely set that one out to start using because I was able to get a backup of that one. There is... I realized I forgot a base coat that had been in my nail tub. This is one I don't use all that often. I got it to try to see if it would help improve like the appearance of my nails. This is Vibrant Vinyls Double Bond Ridge Filling Sticky Base Coat. I got this off of PPU, I think, and this is Treat Yourself. It's scented. You can tell here I've used quite a bit. There's a fill line. Um, I don't feel this does a very good job of filling ridges. I have ridges that run up and down my nails. It's just kind of naturally how my nails are. But I don't feel like this did a very good job of concealing those ridges when I tried it. Is it worth it? I didn't notice anything different with my manicures with this or without. So I don't know. I wouldn't buy it again. I need to set it out so I use it up just because I'm trying to get through some of these products. So I will set it out to start using. has a great scent. I don't know what this one is scented. I don't remember, and it doesn't say what's it scented like, but it's okay. Is it a favorite? Not really. Not something that I feel like you absolutely need to have. So I think that is it for like base coats. Now we're going to move in to top coats. There are a couple here that were holy grails, in my opinion, but have since lost that award, so to speak. I just don't care for them. So the first one being the Cult Classic Sesh Beat. This is a top coat everybody and their brother raved about years ago. I found a couple bottles at TJ Maxx. You could tell this one is about half gone. This thickens up 
fairly quickly, so you have to add thinner. And I knew that going into it, but I wanted to try it. I hadn't had many good fast dry top coats, so I wanted something to try. Found this at TJ Maxx on a bar bargain day I went. It was a good deal. But it's not what I thought. The brush is one of my complaints. It's a teeny tiny skinny brush. And it's a little gloopy at this point. So this is the teeny tiny skinny brush. This gloops up and gets thick roughly about halfway through the bottle. So you have to thin it out. I solely keep this for swatches. I don't use it on my manicures anymore because one major complaint with this, aside from it getting thick, there's horrible shrinkage with this one. And I have that with a couple other products that I'm going to share. Um, what I mean by shrink shrinkage is the polish at my tips will kind of pull away from the tip and you can see like clear nail if that makes sense. Even though I cap the tips, that kind of thing, I'm like, all right. I don't like how this looks. This is definitely known for that. And any research you do will say the same thing. That is something that many people have complained about. The shrinkage plus the fact that it gets thick. And for the price tag that you pay for this, I don't think it's worth it at all. Next, my husband loves this top coat. I used to. I don't feel like it works as good as a couple of my other holy grails that I'm going to talk about. This is KB Shimmers Clearly on Top. I bought this because I was in need of a good fast dry top coat and picked up a refill bottle. This one gets a little thick on me. It'll get stringy when you're applying it. It's a little bit of a thicker consistency than one that I have recently discovered that is at the top of my list for one of my favorites. So you'll see that here in a little bit. But this one, while he likes it, it's not one of my favorites. I notice shrinkage with this one. I don't know what it is, but I notice shrinkage. So I'm like, okay, am I doing something wrong? Let me change it up and try something else. And the product I've currently been using doesn't cause shrinkage, and it's cheaper than what this is, I think, or close. Maybe not cheaper. This is six fifty or something for the KB Shimmer one. So it's not bad, but I feel like I don't like that it gets a little stringy and a little, it's a little thicker in consistency for me than some that I have used. So I don't prefer that with this one, but my husband loves it. He uses this when he does his manicures and he loves it. Absolutely loves this. So if you're one of those that's in that minority, great. You have a great top coat that works for you. That's awesome. For me, it's just not one that I 100% like. I thought it was me at first, and then I realized, hold on a minute, maybe it's not. And with the shrinkage, and it gets a little stringy, and I'm like, no, I'm going to see about something different. So a couple that are on my list, these are indies as well, is this one. I have Cuticula. This is their scented fast dry top coat. This is, a, this is a bottle I have not used yet. This one is Birthday Bubblies. It's scented, which I love. I love scented top coats. I have one that I'm working on that's half gone that I need to thin out a little. It's getting a little bit stringy as well. They tend to do that. I keep my top coats out here where I film and do my nails, but I think with the temperature and everything, they probably need to be moved indoors. But I do have one that's about half gone that I need to thin out again. I love this. I don't notice shrinkage with the Cuticula product at all. I don't know how much this is. I want to say these are like 10 bucks, so it's not... One of the cheaper options, but it's not overly terribly expensive either. But I love the scented part of this. You get so many scent options. They have been really great for quick dry manicures. Everything is beautifully glossy. I do notice with most of my manicures, my top coats dull over time as days go on. They tend to get a little bit dull no matter what I use. But that's okay. It's not, you know, a make or break deal with that issue. It's just kind of what comes with the territory and just day-to-day -day. things that you do. Things will dull just a little bit. But this is a really good one. I love the scents. I love everything about this top coat. Another one that I started using. I don't have a huge amount of use with this one. This is one of my unused bottles. This is the Glisten and Glow Top Coat Clear, Shiny, and Fast Drying. There has been rave reviews about this one. I know that Lori from Go Polished loves this. I know that, what is her name? I used to watch her. Um, 
I'll try to put info down below. I can't even think of what her name is. I haven't watched her in a long time, but she was always doing nail art videos, nail routines, manicures, things like that, and I can't think of what her name is. Is something polished is in the username. Um, I can't think of it, but I'll try to link her down below if I can. She raves about this top coat. This is kind of along the lines of the KB Shimmer one. KB Shimmer and Glisten and Glow apply and work the same, in my opinion. There's not a difference between the two. I don't think this one causes shrinkage. I haven't used it in a hot minute, so I'm not sure, but I don't think it does. Consistency-wise is good. The brush is a wide brush, a little wider than what I prefer for my nails, but it works nonetheless. This one is six or seven dollars maybe for it. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's not overly expensive either, and it's one that I've heard so many people rave about over the years since I started watching nail content probably 10 to 14 years ago. This is what I always heard people talk about. So if you haven't tried it, I would recommend testing this one out for yourself. It's a good product, great fast dry product, gives you a shiny glossy manicure. No shrinkage from what I remember, so that is a plus for sure. A Holy Grail from Victorian Varnish. I just started using this one a couple days ago, a week ago. I got this in a recent Victorian Varnish haul. This is their Illuminate Quick Dry Glossy Top Coat. This is $8, I believe, and you get 17 ml in here. This is going to be the best bang for your buck if you're looking for amount versus price, where KB Shimmer, Glisten and Glow, they are all 15 mLs, and you're paying 6 to $8 a bottle for those. This is 17 ml, I believe, for $8. So great price, great option there if you're in the market for it. I love this. I have started using it. It's the perfect consistency. The brush on this is top-notch, one of my favorites. This is so easy to apply. It is thin. It applies like a dream. It dries so, so quickly. I used it with my manicure that I have on right now. And even with the little dots that I did, I have a little bit of streaking, but that's because I don't think I waited long enough for the dots to dry. But this is top-notch, one of my favorites. I ordered two of these when I made my purchase, and I will definitely keep using this one. This is definitely gone up to the top of my list for amazing fast dry top coats. I have one other option that is an affordable option if you are looking for a fast dry top coat on a budget. This is available at Dollar Tree. This is from the brand Super Dry. I started using this in 2022, 2021. I picked it up on a whim trying to see if I could find a fast dry top coat that would work. This works really well. Absolutely an amazing product. I don't use it much anymore because I kind of forget about it and I've got other top coats I want to try to use up first. The other bottles of this are still in their packaging so I'm kind of like we'll just hold off. I'll wait a little bit and try to use up what is open. But this is a great product. I used it. I raved about it. I posted a video about it when I first picked it up and tried it out and everybody's like yeah that is a great fast dry top coat. It's still available. It's $1.25 I think. Prices at Dollar Tree are going up, so it may be a little more now, but this is one of, used to be one of my favorites. I use this solely for, like, swatches anymore. I don't use it on myself because Victorian Varnish has my heart, so I don't reach for this one. But it is a great quality product if you're looking for something that is affordable, allows your manicure to dry quickly, this is a great choice. So that's it. That is everything that I have that I have tried out and like it or don't like it, absolutely love it, kind of like it, that kind of thing. There's a lot to choose from. You'll have to let me know if you have a Holy Grail product out there that is a must-have for your manicure routine. I don't have many that are drugstore options. That's just, I haven't used drugstore top and base coats aside from the SE in a long time. I don't know before what I used. I honestly can't remember. 
I don't know what I used. I think I was using like Avon or something back then was what I was doing. And that was late 2000s at that point. So things have come a long way in the base and top coat world. So if you have a holy grail favorite, let us know down in the comments what you enjoy, what you find that works for you. And hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you and I will see you in the next one.